See, we know ultimately that the Lord, the judge of all the earth will do right, that judgment will be done, that he will vindicate those who are his, that he will save those who are his, um, that the wicked will not stand in the judgment like Psalm 1 says. Um, they'll be like the chaff that's blown away. We know that's the ultimate end of those who reject God in their ungodliness and unrighteousness, who suppress the truth of God, um, like Romans 1 talks about. <clears throat> but we don't know who those people are. We may see the fruit of that in someone's life, but we don't know what the future holds. Um, that that like super wicked, evil person, whatever that you see or that you know in life, man, that may be one of the like just world changing evangelist type of people that God's going to use one day to win many king or uh, many lives into the kingdom, to win many souls. He'll use to proclaim the gospel to millions. We don't know. Such were some of you, right? <laughs> it's easy if you're in Christ to to look down on others or look at the evil and wicked and sinfulness of others and forget, who am I? Where? What room do I have to speak? The only thing different about me is that God had mercy on me, that he has saved me that he took out the heart of stone and put in a heart of flesh, that I am redeemed, that I am saved. Not because of me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> All I did to earn it was provide the sin. And he saved me. He had mercy on me. We who have been forgiven much should be the first to forgive. We should never look down our nose at someone else because of the condition that they're in at this moment. Instead, realizing that that may be a person that God has a great plan for, that he's going to save. And maybe I'm that vessel that he's going to use to share the gospel with this person. The Holy Spirit will convict them, draw them to himself, and that person will become someone who will reach way more people than I ever would. So instead of being judgmental and thinking you know, less of other people, realize and remember what God has saved you from and show a little mercy, a little grace, a little kindness. 